What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's Rachel here back again with another amazing video from the Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. If you don't know who we are or what we do, we run an amazing digital die cutting membership called Makers Gonna Learn and we are here to teach you guys how to become confident, well-rounded crafters with your die cutting machine. If you are a beginner, that is what we specialize in is we strive to allow beginners to know everything there is to know about their machine and to set them up for success. If you are not a beginner and you've been around the block with your Cricut, we can help you too because we have thousands of cut files, hundreds of fonts, amazing resources to learn and master your machine, and so much more. If you guys are interested in becoming a part of our community, click the very first link in the description below. In today's video, we're gonna be talking all about changing the colors of cut files. A lot of the times you guys might purchase a cut file or use one of our cut files and you want to know how to change the color of the entire thing, maybe just a couple of words in it, or maybe you want every single letter a different color. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to do that because some ways are easier than others. There are different types of SVGs that can be uploaded into Design Space. Some can have multiple layers, some can only have one layer and so on and so forth. So there is some workarounds for each of these that I cannot wait to share with you today. So if you are ever wondering how you can change the color of the cut files that you want to use in Design Space, that is what I'm going to teach you today. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay guys, so here we are in Cricut Design Space. I have a lot of different examples to show you guys today to make sure that you are super comfortable to change the colors of these cut files. So if we move a little bit down so we don't get you all confused or overwhelmed, let's start out with this cut file. This is one of over, um, while this video is being released, over 6,000 cut files that we have at Makers Gonna Learn. It says, never underestimate the power of a woman with a cricket. And boy, do we not agree with this statement. So the super easy thing about this cut file today is if you look over in the layers panel, you can see it is already two different colors. So this is gonna be the easiest case scenario if you guys want to change the color of a cut file that is already in multiple parts. This this is one for you. So here's how it uploads into Design Space. If you would like to change the colors, it is super, super simple. If you want to go to try and change the colors now, you can see nothing is selected. That is because if you look to the right of your screen, you have both layers selected in this cut file. To change the colors, you will click on these one at a time. So right now we're clicking on our Cricut and let's just basically swap these colors. Let's make the Cricut pink and now if we go over to the right side of the screen again and now we don't click on the Cricut but we click on the text now we can go up to the text and then click the text to be blue so as you can see that is the easiest way to do it in the world super easy so that is as easy as it gets right there when the cut file already comes in different uh, layers so you can easily change the color. Now I hope that that made sense. Just in case, I'll go ahead and switch these back. Again, you cannot click to change the color with both layers selected. You're gonna click one layer by itself then you can come up to line top right next to that drop down and click the color and then you can come back over and just click your text Go back over next to line top, click that color button and change it right back. And there you go. You have one cut file with two different colors super easily. Now we're gonna work with a cut file that is all one color. So again, look at the right side of your screen in your layers panel. This is one, one layer, one color. Let's say we want the word crafting, our scissors, and the word therapy to be a whole different color. So to do this is very simple. We're gonna take this entire thing and we're gonna duplicate it. So we're gonna click duplicate up here. Now you're gonna bring this over here. Now in order to just get a couple of words one color, we're gonna have to contour the other words out. Now that can seem overwhelming. I don't want you to be overwhelmed. Let's just take a look at this one over here. So we want crafting our scissors and therapy to be a whole different color. That means we need, we need is cheaper than 
to be a different color as well. So what we're going to accomplish on this duplicate of the uh, cut file is to take out, we want to basically erase the words is cheaper than. So how we're going to do that is we're going to contour. So with the duplicate uh, cut file selected, we're going to go down to the bottom right of our layers panel right over here. You can see my mouse swirling around and we're going to click contour. Go ahead and click that button. And here you can see the whole design. So we are going to uh, erase is cheaper than. So when I scroll, when I have my cursor over these letters, you can see that they almost highlight. They get a little bit darker in color. So we're going to move our cursor around until this eye is uh, dark. So you can see right there it is when we're going to click with our mouse. Click, 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 click. And with these letters, you will have to do two clicks. You'll have to do one for the outside and one for the inside. Where the inside, outside. One click, inside, outside. Perfect. Now, one more word. T-H-A. Get the outside of that A. And our N. Now, with these gone, you can just click out of this program and boom, you can see that this is uh, looking great. This is what we want. So now we can go up here and change the color of that. Let's make that pink, beautiful. And now guys, let's switch gears. Now we want our is cheaper than to be the only thing that is showing up on this uh, duplicate of the cut file because we already have crafting, scissors, and therapy. So now we want is cheaper than. So basically we're gonna be doing the exact same thing we just did, but reverse. We're gonna be keeping what we want um, and getting rid of what we don't, just like we did. So now we're gonna click contour, and it is much easier to contour out um, the cursive words because they're super easy. They're just a few clicks. So then we're just gonna click it, and like I said, in those middles of the letters, you have to take that out. We're gonna click the word therapy and then all those are gone. We just have to click the middles of these little letters. And guys, the more you do this, the quicker that you will be at it. Now we're gonna click the little bits of the scissors. And again, those are all gone. So now you can click out of it. And there you go, look at that. Now we're gonna make this blue. And now guys, all you have to do is bring it right back in where it was and look how cute. Guys, look how cute this cut file is. Now you can take it and you can uh, attach it together, or excuse me, you can group it together. Um, if you attach it together, that will mean that it will cut together and it will automatically change it all back to one color, which we don't want. So since these are two different colors, it will cut out on separate mats. Um, in separate colors, of course, so you can group it if you want it to stay together on your mat here uh, on the Design Space Canvas. Uh, so that is how you will change the cut file colors of a cut file that was um, brought into Design Space in just one color. Now, another example is right up here. So here's the one we just did. This one right up here, I did previously for you guys just to kind of show you how this looks. I did the exact same thing for this guy. So here's how I imported in Design Space. Love grows best in little houses just like this. Such a cute little word, I love it. And then over here you can see I did the exact same thing here, except this time I duplicated it three times. However many colors you see is the amount of times you need to duplicate or however many colors you want. So if you see this and you're like, okay, I want grows best in houses just like one color, one duplicate. I want love little this, another one, and then you want the house a different color, which is pink, that makes three. So you wanna have three copies of this. And then just like we did here, you'll go through and contour out the parts that you do not want. So here's our finished product that we're wanting to work on. Here is uh, this, duplicate it twice to have a total of three, just like this. And now we wanna take out love little this in the house. So then we're gonna go click contour and we're gonna contour all these little pieces out. Take your time. And again, it can be a little bit tricky to find where you can contour this out. Just continue to move your mouse around. It could be in a random place 
uh, where you can click this. So like this E seems a little tricky until you finally find it. Now once you click it, just continue on as you're doing. And now we're gonna contour out our little house here. And you might have to scroll down just a little bit to be able to get this itty bitty doorknob. And once you get that all contoured out, again, you can click out and see, boom, this is exactly what we want. Our first layer is done. We want this layer to be blue. Okay, so just like I was teaching you in the other one, you have one layer. Now for this layer, you will want to contour everything except love, little, and this. And then in this layer, you will want nothing but the house. Now, because we've already been through that, we're not going to go through that all again because you guys can rewatch this as many times as you need to. However, I do want to teach you this little trick because it would be a lot of work for you guys to go through and uh, contour out every single word except for this house here. I'm going to show you a little hack how to do that super easily. So since all we need is the house from this uh, duplicate, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to a shape and we're going to get a square. And now we're going to take this square and we're going to cover our house with it. So go ahead and cover the house. And once you have it covered, you can uh, click over this entire thing. So click and drag. And then over in the layers panel, you can see that two layers are selected. Now you can go down here to slice and click slice. And now you can take this and delete that. Take this. And then here is your house. You don't need that. You don't need that. Boom. All you have is a house. Again, guys, rewatch that as many times as you need to to understand it. But that is a super easy way to get little images that are on the edges or the sides of things like that out of there. Uh, feel free to do it either way you want to. You can contour it all out or you can slice however you want to. But that is a super easy way to make sure that all of your cut files are the colors that you want them to be. I hope this made sense and eased your mind on that. And if you guys have been wondering how how my canvas is a different color I will show you that really quick as well so if you go and you click down here at the bottom of your layers panel to blank canvas just click on it make sure it's highlighted and now up at the top you will see color right here color click that color and it's usually on white but I changed mine to gray you can change it to purple or any color that you want to change it to um, and also, I'll change it back to white. Uh, so you can notice I don't have any grid lines. Well, that is because in between the zero and zero axis here, you can see this tiny corner piece. If you click that corner piece, you will get your grids back. And also, if you click it again, you can only have square grids, and then you can have your little grids or no grids. So as you can see, you can click and uh, grab the amount of grids that you want, which is awesome. So yeah, I hope that that helps you guys. I hope that you know how to change colors in uh, amazing SVGs now to really be able to personalize those cut files how you want to. I told you guys changing the color of your cut files was so easy. I hope that you did enjoy this training. And if you want more beginner training tips, don't forget to check out the 30 days to master your Cricut challenge because this is developed with beginners in mind. If you would like to know how to get this plus all the cut files plus 6,000 more that you saw on today's training, we have so many fonts, amazing printable guides, access to a member only Facebook group, free commercial licensing, and more. If you want to see how to join our community, click the very first link in the description below. If you did like this video, guys, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Leave us a comment if you have any questions or concerns and go ahead and click subscribe, guys. Ring that bell to get notified when we send you guys amazing new content like this. Thank you so much, guys. We will see you in the next video. I can't wait to see what I teach you guys next. Bye.